Hello everyone. So today we are going to see welcome file configuration in the servlet. So what is welcome file? So the first page of the web application that comes automatically when we give request to the web application is called as welcome page of the web application. So we can configure HTML file or JSP file or servlet component as a welcome file by using these tags that is welcome file list and in that we can use welcome file in the web.xml so what is welcome file whenever we give first request to our web application then the first page that comes that is web welcome file and we can configure HTML as well as JSP as, uh, as well as servlet as our welcome file. We will see the examples on that. So if we configured multiple welcome files then servlet container picks up the file in the order of availability and default welcome files are index.html and index.jsp. So let us see the practical. So what we will do here we will create new project. So right click if click on this file go to new and go to dynamic web project and here we will write a project name as welcome let me take here welcome file now we will click on next don't click on finish just click on next and click on next because after clicking on finish you will not get this web.xml so just click next 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 and in the web modules uh, this generate web.xml check this then after uh, checking this click on finish so it is take it will take some time to create our web project it will load yes now in this welcome file here i am already configured the tomcat with the eclipse you can also do that and next thing what we have to do is we have to add the servlet api so let me add that so how to add servlet api in our project i have already downloaded that servlet api you can also download from the net so let me add this uh, right click on this uh, our project then go to build path then go to configure build path then uh, in the click on libraries then click on class path then add external jars so I have already uh, downloaded this servlet API. I will choose this and click on open. Then uh, click on apply and apply and close. So ref in the reference libraries you can see Tomcat servlet API. Uh, it is already added. I have added this. You can also add that. So first of all, this is our web application. In that you can go to the SRC in the src in the main and let me take here down so here we can see in the src go to the main go to the web app and in the web app at the bottom if i go down here yeah now in the web inf here, here is web.xml web and here you can see welcome file list and welcome file list it is closed here and here are the welcome files so this is a parent tag welcome file list and this is a welcome file this is a child tag of this parent then uh, here you can see it is already given here some of the welcome files and these are the default so as we have discussed so the default uh, configuration file welcome files are index.html uh, and index.jsp so in the web.xml you can see that index.html index.html then jsp then default.html this all uh, these are already given to us so now let me close all these uh, editors so now what we'll do we'll uh, create here one servlet so right click on this go to new and go to package here we'll create one package com dot servlet dot test for testing purpose and what we'll do so right click on this uh, uh, package then go to new and go to the class and here we'll create one of the test servlet 
and uh, click on finish so here we will extend from the http servlet extends http servlet http servlet and for importing this uh, press control shift o it is important now what we will do here we will uh, override the two methods that is do get and do post so do get control space enter do get is uh, added now go to the do post and press control space and click on enter so do post is also coming here now from this uh, do post we will give here a do get and let me delete this super and here we will write some logic to print so first of all we have to write get print writer print uh, writer i will write this logic so here i have written the logic for the clock and here let me explain what are these so here print writer pw res dot get writer then uh, we'll set the content type as text slash html then here we are using the local date time for the current uh, hour minute and second you can use this and pw dot print ln local date time dot get hour in the h2 tag we are printing this so colon get minute and get second and here we are using this header response header called refresh so it is for refreshing it will uh, refresh after one second this is a time you can give here and this is refresh the header name so after every one second it will be refreshed because uh, we are uh, printing here time so it should refresh uh, refresh after one second and i have already created video on how to set auto refresh the our web page i will give link of that video in the description you can also ask that so now uh, we have to give here a url so how can we give that by using the web servlet you can give that also in the web.xml also you can give but this is the simple way we can give and url pattern we will take as a clock and this is uh, done now if i right click on this and go to run as uh, run on server and i am using here tomcat 9 web server you can also use then click on next and remove all we'll take only was uh, welcome file and click on finish and okay so the server will be loaded and our web application here you can see it is opening on the browser and here you can see our project name is coming here web files but we are getting this http status 404 not found because what is happening let us understand <coughs> so what happened web application will go to the web at web.xml and it will see this welcome file and it will search the servlet container what will do it will search for the index.html whether index.html is present no then it will uh, search for index.html it is also not present then it will search for index.jsp so this is also not present then it will search for default.html and all these files are not uh, present that's why we are getting this status 404 so what if we provide this file so what we will do we will uh, right click on this web app and we will create here one index.html so create html file and we will take here name as index.html and we will finish and here we will take uh, yes to welcome file and uh, in the bracket we will do index.html and we will uh, provide here a link to our servlet so how can you do that hrf clock so in the hrf we have to give the our url pattern so in this index.html uh, paste here so now whenever we will uh, run our application on the server it will go to web.xml and it will check whether the index.html is present yes it is present we have created then 
this uh, this content of this html will be will get as welcome file so now let me stop our server and if i go to welcome file right click on this and go to run as run on server save this yes save then run on server it will take some time so choose the tomcat 9 click on next click on finish it will open in the browser server is loading and here we go we are getting the index.html as welcome file so we are getting index.html as a welcome file because what is happening it is it will go to web.xml and it will see index.html is present yes it is present and we are getting the content of index.html so click on clock and here we can see our clock is running and is it is automatically refreshing for every second you can see that it is automatically refreshing i am not doing anything and this is the time so we have seen first index.html now what we will do if i change the name of here we can see this is if i click here and let me zoom it here you can see index.html uh, i will change the name of that index.html so what we will do right click on this and uh, go to rename and i will do here it is taking some time yes now we will take here welcome dot html let us take home dot html home dot html this is done now let me stop our server and if i do now right click run as run on server click on next click on finish it will open in the browser server is loading and here you can see we can get 404 so what is happening here we change the name of this html file as home.html so web.xml will check for these files these files are not present that's why we are getting this 404 so now let us see if we give the uh, name as default.html what will happen so let me stop the server and in the home.html right click and go to rename and here we will do default.html default.html so what i said it will check for first index.html it will not if not present then it will go to below check for this check for this and we are getting here default.html and default.html is present here here we can see this is default.html if i zoom here here we can see default.html is here now now we will run this application right click run as run on server and click on next click on finish and here we can see welcome file it is coming and if i do uh, some modification in the default.html it is what default.html default.html here we can see this is the name of our default.html so if i go here and let's refresh this here we can see default.html that means what is happening in the web.xml it will check first second third and up to last if it is uh, one file is available then it uh, will print the content of that file as a welcome file now next what we will do we will create our file it will remain uh, rename this and we will give here home.html home.html you can see here at the bottom home.html is coming now if i want this file as welcome file what we have to do in the go to the web.xml and here we have to 
change as home.html and it is saving now what we'll do we'll uh, stop the server and which uh, changed to what home.html it will will also change your heading now right click on this and run as run on server and localhost next and click on finish so home.html will came as welcome file here you can see home.html click on clock and we will get the clock this is a now we work with the html file so we can also give the jsp so how can we give that so we will create a jsp file right click on this web app and go to new go to jsp file and here we will take as what uh, we will take home dot jsp and click on finish I will uh, copy the same content of home.html in this JSP copy and go to home.jsp and paste here and if uh, if I want this JSP file as welcome we can also give so what we have to do go to web.xml and home.jsp we have to give here JSP and it will come as welcome file so So let me stop the server, stop the server and now we are get taking as home.jsp as welcome file, it will come, right click on this welcome, then uh, run on server, finish, server will load and open in the browser. Here you can see our home.jsp is coming as a welcome file and from this we can access our clock. So we have seen the example how can we take uh, HTML file as a welcome file then JSP file as a welcome file and at the last we will see how to take servlet as our welcome file. So how to do that we have to take this URL copy this pattern and go to the web.xml and at the first we have to paste here. Now let me it will take some time. So we are taking here clock. So it will go to the test uh, C. Here we uh, it is matching with the clock. So this will become as a welcome file. So what we will do? Go to this uh, console. Stop the server. Now right click on this welcome file. And run as. Run on server. Then uh, Tomcat. Then click on finish. It will load it and uh, it will open in the browser and here we can see we are getting the welcome file as a servlet so after running the web application on server the first page what is coming the servlet is coming so in the web why it is coming because in the web.xml we have taken here url we have uh, given this url of servlet in this first place of welcome file so these are the ways we can configure welcome file in web.xml if you want html file you can give here a name then if you want jsp you can give like this and if you want welcome file as a servlet then you can give this url pattern at this place in the welcome file tag